Tom Schaefer with the campus chapter of the Rare Fruit Council International. What are you doing here today? Today we're having a citrus celebration and what we do is provide all different types of citrus for the fair goers to try. They come in and taste all the different varieties. They're all labeled so they know what the fruit is and they get to try it and see what they like. How long have you been doing this? Since 1998, our club has been doing it. Now, how many different types of citrus are there? <laughs> Thousands. And they started out with basically three different uh, citrus fruits about, about two or three thousand years ago. And all the fruits that you see today came from those three combinations. Wow. So what are some of your favorites? I like the honey bells, the uh, honey mercots, the tangerines, and they're juicy and sweet. Awesome. Well, let's go take a look at what you got. Okay. Awesome. Different kinds of melons? These are pomelos. Oh, 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 oh. Pomelos, oh. either way. Some people like them, some people don't. But these are some of the original citrus fruits from China many years ago. You see anything you want to try, Madeline? What kind is that? This is a monarch tangerine. Monarch tangerine. <laughs> Smells good. Now, do you grow all this? Do you have an orange grove? I used to have about 30 trees. Most of them got wiped out by the citrus greening disease. Started about 2005 and then decimated Florida. Lost about 90% of the tree. Now it's all coming back because we know what to do to grow these. Beverly? What are you doing? That they used to do in the 1890s. How long have you been doing it? I've been doing this for about 10 years. Um, do you have any social media? Uh, I know, really. Uh, this is kind of old TV. school. I watch TV. Does that count? <laughs> what? So how? What made you get started in doing all this? Well, I grew up in a town that was founded in the 1890s, and I learned 1890s history, and I love history. So I come out here so I can teach other people the history of Florida. Wow. Well, um, thank you so much for being here today. Bye. What are we doing here today, Bye. guys? Baking a candle. Hold it. Count to three. I don't hear you counting. One, two, three. Now take it out. All the way out. And we're watching the bottom. See how it's how it's kind of clear. We're waiting till it gets really cloudy. That tells me it's hard. Okay. And once it's cloudy, <coughs> Put it in and, count and you guys are here every year in Cracker County at the Florida State Fair making these candles. I've been coming here for 30 years myself. That's what I heard. We're still watching the bottom. Oh, wow. This is melted wax, so if we left it in too long, it would melt the wax off here and in the Oh, wow. Why you only did it three times. Over by the oven, we're going to put the candles in. Now, you can put it in the water, give it a good swim, and then it's ready for you to take home. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. And it just cools it off and melts it. Cool.